All right, so in this Ultra IC video, I'm going to show you how to turn this standard 9 gram servo into a continuous rotation servo like this one here. All right, so to make it continuous rotation, basically the remote is telling it to be in a certain position. And there's a thing in here called a potentiometer, which looks like this, that tells it where the actual horn is up to, so the end of the horn is connected to it, right? So the servo thinks, my horn is here and I have to be there, so I'm going to spin it in that direction. And then when it gets to that position, the potentiometer goes, you're in the right spot, you can stop spinning. So at the moment, when I move this here, it's trying to get to that spot, but the potentiometer isn't actually connected to the horn on the end, so it's just going to keep trying to get there, and it's just never going to get there, so that's why it's continuous. And then if I move this back, there's a neutral position where it's at the spot where it's supposed to be, there, and then I can move this down, it looks going the other way. So that's basically the theory behind it. So what you've got to do is undo the four screws on the bottom, and the rope's beeping. Alright, so now the screws are undone, you can take the bottom bit off. There you go. And then there's the middle bit, so you can see the motor and the soak board. And then you can take the end bit off here. Yeah. And all the little cogs fall out, so you better make sure that ground's not too dirty, otherwise you get little bits of who knows what in the cogs. So you can take these off. So, here you can see that the, um, here's a potential of a lead that basically connects to the end of the output horn, you could say, on the end there. And that turns a potentiometer inside there, right? So to make it continuous, you've got to stop this from spinning and allow the, um, I don't know, output thing keep spinning. There's a little bump. I don't know if I can do my little pointing thing, but there's a little bump just here, yeah? And that bump stops it from spinning all the way around. So the first thing you've got to take that off. Now with Metal Gear server, you have to grind it, but with a plastic one, you can just get a little pair of scissors like this. off so that's the first thing you got to do second thing is you can see inside here that hole is got a flat spot in it basically so the end of the potentiometer I'll take these cogs out okay. see the potentiometer on the end there has got a little flat spot so you got to the drill out the center of this bit here and to do that drilling you need to use a drill like this and I'd start from the outside so I'd actually go like above Alright, so now the centre of that is drilled out and it's nice and round. So if you put this on the potentiometer a bit, that will spin around and it won't even know, which is what we want, right? And the third thing you've got to do is get some kind of glue, whether it's hot glue, tarzan grip, all this stuff. For a bigger kind of server, you probably want to use this one that you mix up. But this is, you know, it's not going to have much pressure. So this is just a, this is just a backup plan, basically. The under the cap. And it's got a little infrared right light on the end. So you put some of this. Once this is centered, probably you've got to need to do that. I reckon the center position is about here. So I'll put some glue in. And then you shine the infrared, infrared light on it. This is the awesome glue. Like this. And then once that's dry, which would be about five seconds away, uh, oh, done. Then this wouldn't move because it's glued. Okay. Then you put all the cogs back on, basically. So. So it's going to just keep going and it'll never get to its destination so you've got a continuous rotation server. Easy as that.